My name's Lonnie Greenwald, and I'm a member of the Space City Chapter of American Hibiscus Society. Today I'd like to kind of do a little demonstration and uh, video of how to repot, going, uh, keeping the plant in a smaller pot, or uh, when they get root bound, how to work them. This is a plant we're going to use today. The name on it is a Midnight Star. It's a real pretty plant, it can bloom too. But as you can see, it's got these suckers coming off of it that are Pride of Hankins. So that's a grafted plant, and it's a Pride of Hankins, and uh, the suckers are coming out below the graft. So you have to watch that because that is taken away from your plant here that you want to grow. As you can see, these uh, Pride of Hankin, right in here was the graft. So the Pride of Hankins are coming out below the graft. So we'll just clip them off. There's three of them. So I'll clip all three of them. And there it is. The plant looks better already because that's, that's the plant you want. All right, we'll remove the uh, plant from the pot. As you can see, it's starting to get kind of root bound in here. And if you'll notice, it's kind of dry. We've been watering it every day, but with these roots getting tight in there like that, it won't let that water get in. Water just runs down the side of the pot, runs out the bottom. The, the tools we can use on this is a machete that I have here or this handsaw. And uh, I'm wanting to cut her down small, and uh, so we can manipulate. The handsaw works pretty good. As you can see inside, it's dry, just bone dry. Okay, and we can cut some off the bottom. But you can see where all the roots are really, they're in there pretty packed. So we'll cut some off the bottom. So there it is, that's, that's getting down pretty close to uh, what we want. You can use or reuse this dirt that come out of the, uh, that you trimmed off, but you gotta get all the roots out of it. And then it's also pretty well you figure nutrient deficient. So you'd have to fertilize it and all that, which you wouldn't need to do anyway. On this one, we're gonna use uh, this mix I use. I buy this Happy Grow stuff from uh, Lowe's. And you notice these white specks are uh, perlite from Lowe's too. You can buy all this down at Lowe's or Home Depot. What I'm going to do is put some in the bottom because we cut some off of that one. Get it to where it's set in there. Put this in. See the, the fact that I cut this way smaller than this pot and putting this new dirt in it, it'll give room for these roots to grow and it can hold moisture, and it'll just uh, help the whole plant. Okay, we're getting it filled, filled up pretty good. It will settle as you water it. Now what we've done is cut the roots way down. So for this plant to live, we're gonna have to cut this upper down too. So these roots are not enough to support this many uh, branches and leaves.
As you can see, this one has no leaves or anything on it, so it will die. It's probably dying now. Well, it still looks green there, but it will die. So you cut it up here to the trunk as close as you can get. Cut it off, and that eliminated the problem there. Got a little leaf on this one, so we'll leave it alone and see what happens. Now, as you're going along, these type of leaves, right here, as you can see, it's growing up and out. That's the ones you want to save. These ones like this one, that's up and in, don't really want them. You want this thing to be spreading out. So we cut it as close to that leaf as you can. And there it is. As you can see, here's another one that's been cut and a little stub coming out, and that's dying right now. So you just cut it back to there and eliminate that problem. Here's a broken one. It needs to come out. And here you go. Here's one that's, that's going out, so you trim it off. Another one going out, trim it. Here's a nice one here. Get as close to that leaf as you can. Here's another one right here, looks like it'll be all right. And that looks like she trimmed pretty good for what we did. Remember, Looks like we cut off about 50% of the root system. So we need to cut about 50% up above so this uh, plant will be able to live. So we'll check it again in about a month and it ought to be good to go. All right, and you see these uh, branches that are cut off are still pretty good shape. What I'm going to do is cut them, cut some leaves off, and I'll be putting them in my rubber dirt and they'll be cutting should get another uh, maybe 10 or 12 plants out of these cuttings right here. All right, here we are about a month later with that same plant that we cut and cut the root ball off and all that. If you remember, it was grafted plant. And you see right here the new growth coming out from the Prada Hankins from the root stock, which is down here. And this... Uh, plant that we redone, cut the top and, and trimmed the root ball off of it, it's only right now got three original leaves left. I just pulled this one off, but you can see, oh well here's another one, but you can see all this new growth on it. So everything is doing just fine. Uh, this new growth that hadn't had, hadn't had a bloom yet, but it probably won't be much longer we'll start getting bloomed. I want to thank y'all for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it just as much as we did making it. Thank you.